An important part of Clive's business are his valuation tours, where members of the public can bring along their own items to have them valued by Clive. From time to time, apprentices from the Antiques Academy are invited to join him and his team. Throughout this course, we'll follow two of them, Laura and Opal, as they join Clive, David and Royston and learn what it's like to assess antiques in the real world. What we've got here, first of all, we've got a nice silver hallmark. And the lion means... England. England. Very good. And the leopard's head... London. London. Oh. And the M is the year letter. Okay. So that's probably going to be, off the top of my head, probably 1940s maybe. I don't know. Mm. Is that, is that sort I of, think it is about 1940s. Yeah, that's sort of dates. So terrible. This one here is a nice... Clean crisper mark, which is nice. That's, that's the manufacturer or maker. Oh, right. This is Birmingham. The anchor. This is the, the, the again the England lion, and that's the year letter. And what's that? That's probably about, about 18, 19, 1980s. Yes. Not, yeah, yeah. not eighteen ninety, but nineteen eighties. <laughs> and also, you can tell it's quite modern as well. But by the glass has been cut. Right. It's quite a modern yes. concept of it. Do you know what it is? Decanter. What's no? What is it? Soda? No. What is it? It's a claret jug. Oh. So drinking claret in the evenings. Pour it like that. Nice bit of red claret, deep claret. A decanter. It's a different shape altogether. Right. Okay. The correct, isn't it, Christina? That's right, is it's it? a claret jug. <laughs> and this here, is it? Do you know what this is? They're a set, aren't they? Because they've got similar handles. What's it used for? Coffee pot, teapot. I'd say it was a teapot, and I'd say it's for... That is a coffee pot, but I don't think it's a set. No. I think these three are the set, and that was separate. Purchase. Oh, it's made, it's got the same, I look at the spout, it's all. The yeah. spout was right. made to match. Yeah, similar. It probably made later. Yes. Okay, sometimes. But how do you check this? Do you look inside? Do you look no, underneath? you check out the hallmark of this one here. The hallmark of this one here is... Can we see the hallmarks here? This is a little bit older by the look of this. Hmm. So these are different different sort of pictures. groups of marks, yeah. Mm. So what are we looking for here? Well, different hallmarks. This is a different letter, so we know this is not a set. Oh, you say correct. This is a three-piece set here, right? And that's different an hallmarks. odd piece, yeah. I thought it was actually for, yes. for water, but obviously it probably was a coffee pot. Yeah, I think it is coffee. Yeah, so, so they're very similar shapes. And this, these two things, do you know what they're for? I have no idea. Let's have a look. <laughs> no. No idea. These are for. Wine bottles. They're called wine coasters. Mm. You put the wine on top. And just nice and excellent on the table. Some of these things have been quite valuable, actually. Right. I'm going to ask you in a minute what's the most valuable thing on the table, shall we? And these ones here, a hallmark somewhere? Yep. Just there. Okay, so and it's made in mark. England. Yep, and what's that, that, that mark there? Is that a crown? So what's that crown. represent? So it's not Birmingham, it's not London. Do you know what it is? Is it Sheffield? Is it Sheffield? This lady knows more than she pretends oh. to know. That's Sheffield, that's, but it's still, again, quite modern, I think. But is it 1930s, maybe? I think it might be, yeah. Yeah, you know, I haven't got the book to hand, so it's just top of my head. Yep. But it was nice thing about it is a pair of those. Do you know what they're used for? They look like gravy jugs, but maybe I'm wrong. Are they sauce boats? Uh, yeah, gravy boats, I think, or sauce yeah, boats. Yeah, sauce boats, yeah. Yep. Okay. Gravy sounds a bit crude, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> gravy boats, I mean, but I think it's a bit of a sauce, I mean, putting a nice sauce over you. Nice. We get what have we got here then? Opal, what have we got here? Well, it looks like a, a large pin. It could be a hat pin or, a, or on the large. lapel of your coat. Yeah. And turquoise and diamonds on the uh, handle. How do you know the diamonds? I'm guessing. I tell you a good way of telling the diamonds. I know the diamonds. You know the diamonds. I know the diamonds. But another way of telling the diamonds, it's not a rule of thumb, but it does help. When it's open back. Mm -hmm. not, it doesn't work every time, but it's, it's, yep. they're made this way to catch the light of the diamonds. Oh, yeah. If it's got a field in back, and sometimes it's costume and jewellery. I see. Okay, not, not every time, but the rule of thumb. And at some stage, I think this actually come apart to make into a cravat pin. And that's the lady's brooch as well, isn't it? Yes. That's right, that's oh, what I've got to Oh, clever. So that goes like that, across there like that. And maybe a lady's scarf and then a neck or something if it's a nice yeah. chilly day. Well, very nice. Careful with that one, though. Very nice. It's a very nice thing, actually. <laughs> if it was, it's a manly thing, I'll wear it myself, but it's too feminine, isn't it? But you sort of wear it there, couldn't you, I suppose? Mm. Could you wear that? I think I could. I think this is more me than you. I think it is more you than me. <laughs> <laughs> nice big scarf across your neck there, but very nice. Done. But it's nice having diamonds. It's probably, any idea of the date of this? 
No, I'm not sure of the date. April? Mm, we looked for the gentleman's sword earlier. That was a German sword. Um, no, I'm not sure. There's nothing German, is it? I, you know, it's difficult to actually... Do you still have about interesting to say about the country? Because I'm pretty sure... I mean, gut feeling says there's no marks on here, is there? No. I can't see any marks. No. My gut feeling says it's French. It's got that sort of French cavalier. Oh. D'Artagnan look about it, isn't it? You know, it's like a 17th, yeah. century, 18th century mm. sword. Yeah. Copied in the Victorian period. It's still nice. Like the diamonds are quite nice. So, you know, any idea of value? Well, because they're real diamonds, they're not tiny either. Maybe 250? 300? Well, that's really not bad for, for an apprentice, eh? <laughs> not bad at all. Oh. What would you say? Um, I'm not sure. I, I, four to 500. Okay, okay. Well, that's interesting. I, you know, hopefully, maybe later we can have a chat okay. and, and do a deal, maybe later. But, uh, so I'm going to ask, on the silver part, what mm -hmm. is the most valuable piece of silver here, in your opinion, and why? Can I take the whole set, the three sets? You can take that. I think I will. What I like, you, I like the gravy jugs, keep? but... Mm. I know it's your stuff, but what do you think is the most valuable piece here? I think it's the set, the three piece. Yeah. Am I wrong? Yeah, but is it, well, <laughs> I haven't checked the dates of these yet, but these, these things, are, they, are these they're, quite old? No, those are modern. I think they're 1990. Ah, shame, isn't it? Because mm. wine coasts can be the most valuable thing ever. Unbelievable, I paid £2,000 for a pair of these right. before. Do yeah. the modern ones are? Those are modern. Well, thanks for telling me that, because I haven't had a chance to look. <laughs> <laughs> Make mistakes all the time, I do. And then we've got a pair of gravy jugs. See, but if I told you the truth, these, I could sell these as items. Yeah. Right? Right. This set, because of the weight of the silver, it's so heavy. Yes. I can say a criminal thing now, it'd probably be worth more in the weight of silver nowadays. Than yeah. Actually, it's a beautiful item. I'm not going to obviously scrap it, as they say, the word is, but it's, you know, it's almost come to that value. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're probably talking top of my head, 500. Right. Just for the, for the silver weight. Okay. For me to sell. I mean, I couldn't sell it as a set. Okay. Be hard to sell. Well, these things, a pair of cream jugs or, or, or sauce boats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People still use those, can't they? Yes. On they the do. table, so yep. it's more commercial. Yeah. This is not usable anymore. Right. This is not used anymore. These are used, and these things are used. Yeah. And this is probably used. Yes. See, all the things you can sell as items. Okay. And this stuff is really difficult to sell because people don't use it. Okay. You got that mm. in your head? Yeah. Gonna... Practical, pretty. Yeah. If somebody's going to use something, it's more valuable. If you can't use tea set anymore, which is unfashionable. Yep. Yes, it's more for displays. Yeah. So I'd go back to what's the most valuable thing now on this table? It would have to be the, uh, pair, of, the pair of sauce boats. I'd think so. <laughs> you know, if they went to walking, okay. I could see them making sort of... And that sounds silly, but it's sort of like three to five hundred. Right. OK. Well, this would probably be a similar sort of value, but there's a lot more silver in it. So yep. probably right, these are more valuable than this, I'd say. OK. You know. Do you understand where I'm coming from? I'm learning all the time. Mm -hmm.